What's good, world builders? It's your boy Devon back again with another video. And today, this is another episode of Last Week in Business. And today, we got a special one we're talking about. Amazon will retrain your brain, and Vicky has more than just a secret. So let's go. Now tune into the greatest. <laughs> okay, real quick, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So we talk about making more money, saving more money, and building a better you and business. So without further ado, let's talk about last week in business. Amazon will retrain your brain and Vicky has a secret. Okay. All right. So I right, know you're talking about like, what, what are you talking about with Amazon will train your brain? But it's, it's right. Okay. Basically what Amazon is doing, they will train you if you work for them because they want you to be more success, successful in business instead of just being a basic laborer. Okay. Instead of just, you know, grabbing boxes and putting them places and picking up boxes and putting down boxes and putting picking up boxes and delivering boxes and all that other stuff. They want you to be more well-rounded, okay? Amazon said the program is amounted to one of the largest employee retraining efforts ever, okay? It will apply across the, com the company from corporate employees to warehouse workers, retraining about 100,000 workers by 2025 amazon has about 300,000 employees in the united states so that's pretty much like one third of their workforce they will be retraining okay the investment is a large-scale experiment in whether companies can remake their existing workforces to fit a fast-changing technological technological world okay can't even say it technological <laughs> no, I'm saying while government programs have tried to turn factory workers and coal miners into co and computer coders and data scientists, few of those efforts have succeeded, but corporate attempts have been limited. So, with that being said, we're going to keep an eye, eye, eye out for this program. We're probably going to be dropping more news bombs about this program. Shoot. I might just get employed by Amazon just to get the training, you know what I'm saying? Just to get the training, become a coder. Hey, you know, training for free, basically, okay? And if you if you work for Amazon right now, you might want to take heed to this because this can definitely help you in the near future, all right? Next up, we got Bed, Bath & Beyond, okay? They are losing time, okay? They're running out of time. They're about to be one of those those stores that's extinct if they don't change their ways, okay? As per CNN, Bed Bath & Beyond is struggling to keep up with the changing times of how people shop, aka shop online or want a shopping experience when they go to shop, okay? They are going to be closing around 40% of their locations. Ugh, that's a lot of stores, okay? Bed Bath & Beyond has remodeled more than 30 stores with different layouts that aim to give shoppers better views of the merchandise. Because, you know, if you go into, back in the day, when you go into Bed Bath & Beyond, usually you got to, you know, you know, look around and hustle up and, and really kind of like rummage through a lot of different stuff just to find what you want. Now, Bed Bath & Beyond saying that they're going to make it easier for you to just go in their stores, see what you want, and grab it and get about. Okay? So, basically, it is testing new ideas in these lab stores that sell more home decor, food, and health and beauty care than traditional stores. Okay? Bed Bath & Beyond hopes it can take what's working in those stores and roll it out store wide okay that means company wide every store everything that's still open they want to roll it out they want to roll it out so hopefully bed bath and beyond can't hold it down because i'm tired of seeing these major retailers go down in in, in ashes okay but we'll see you never know now next up we got victoria's has more than just a secret and it's not a good one okay as per cbs news Victoria's Secret parent company, L Brands, stock is down as Jeffrey Epstein 
ties emerge, okay? If you don't know who Jeffrey Epstein is, well, he is the rich guy who has been arrested and charged last Monday at the time of this video with the sex trafficking of underage girls, and this could further sink the fortunes of the ailing lingerie retailer damaging a brand that already has seemed out of touch in this current Me Too era, okay? Because they're still flaunting women around, they're still showing off bodies, and in this Me Too era, you know, these women are not really feeling that type of stuff. I love it. I know I'm pretty sure the average male that watches this show loves it, but these women, they, you know, they're not really feeling it. Okay, so I'm just saying it is what it is. Now, this secret has come to light and this will definitely affect L brand stock price. So if you invest in, you know, companies like L brands and retailers and things like that, you want to be on the lookout for something like this because this can definitely mess up your stock, you know, income. If you're, if you're, if you're investing, for, if, you're in a, if you're an income investor, this can definitely mess you up. So. Just saying, be on the lookout for that. Okay, now, hey, you slacker, you can't beat my team. No, as per CNBC, over 13 million people use Microsoft's Teams app for, for, for chat, meetings, and document collaboration every day. And they are beating, they, they are not just competing with, but they're beating Slack, that app, the Slack app, for users because you know slack app has more than 10 million daily users so 13 people 13 million daily users against 10 million daily users hey the 13 wins right the, the bigger number wins but microsoft executive vp rajesh Jha, who oversees office including teams says the app has started helping microsoft use email for what it's best for instead of as a default. So basically using the Teams app has definitely helped them in certain aspects and things like that. Honestly, I don't use either one. I'm not an avid user of either one, but I've heard of Slack. I've never heard of Teams app. All right, so now basically it's Teams app versus Slack. So what I want you to do now, let me know in the comments below if you use both and what's the difference, okay? I don't know what the difference is. I've never used either one of them. So, hey, so please just let me know. Anyway, anyway, thanks for watching. Last week in business, Amazon will retrain your brain and Vicky has a secret, okay? And if you wanna learn how to make money online and get some cash building strategies and get my free ebook sent directly to your email address, I mean like, uh, as soon as you, as soon as you put your information in, it's like, uh, like, like the Thanos snap, uh, right to your email box. Go ahead and click the link below, wealthbuildersystem.com. Okay, check it out. Click the link below. Put your information in. You'll get the, um, you'll get that free ebook sent directly to your email box. All right, and you'll be on my email newsletter at that point and you'll get more emails from me you'll get you'll stay up to date with all my videos you'll stay up to date with all the any opportunities business opportunities that i think are interesting and i'm also building the wealth builder system which is going to help you make more money save more money and build a better you and business so without further ado go ahead and click that link below and again thanks for watching last week in business Peace. It's the Wealth Builders, baby. All right, so you've reached the end of one of my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. You can go ahead and check out another video here or another here, or you can go ahead and subscribe there. But anyhow, Wealth Builders, do remember, make more, save more, build more. Peace.